A nasty discovery washing up on the shores of Higgins Beach, the large carcass of an unknown animal found on that beach. Danielle Aquarium has confirmed there is a second dead whale in Virginia Beach. It's all after the group managed to snag a 13 foot hammerhead. And of course, the whole thing's caught on camera. Y'all better get off the shore. Crowds of curious onlookers have been left scratching their heads after a whale was discovered beach to Glenelg just metres from the water. I've never, ever, ever seen anything like this. Looks fake. My initial reaction was shock. I'll never see that in my life again. Beaches are fascinating, right? But these videos of strange carcasses and unusual phenomena reveal what lies beneath this allure. Yeah, it's literally the stuff of nightmares. So hang on to witness the crazy discoveries and insane encounters all on beaches that will leave you shocked. Whales wash ashore. On the night of January 28, 2016, Juhu Beach in Mumbai hosted a surprise guest, not a Bollywood star, but a whopping 40-foot whale shark. The news spread like wildfire, drawing thousands of curious spectators and catching the attention of national media. Authorities, including lifeguards and police, were quick to manage the crowds, wary of potential viral infections from the carcass. Unfortunately, such incidents of marine life washing ashore are not uncommon. Recent studies, like one from Baylor University, suggest a link between drought, water quality, and mysterious sea creatures. As the evening unfolded, the whale's remains were laid to rest in Mora Village, marking the end of this extraordinary beach encounter. Beached Carcass in May 2016, people chilling at Dun Canyon Beach, Ireland, stumbled upon this massive, weird-looking sea creature washed ashore. It had a freaky face, like scaly and spin-like scales around its neck, totally not our regular beach scene. This unknown beach monster was over 10 meters long, with bones poking out of its tail. Now, some folks were like, maybe it's a basking shark or a blue whale, but... He's a basking shark. He's a basking shark. Come on! Just one look, and you know it's something way more bizarre. Strange Creature This hairy mystery floating in the shallow waters has been baffling the people online. Some called it Globsters, while others believe it was a weird blob that washed up on the beach. But when I looked it up on the internet, I found out that it was just the remains of an old whale. Now, meet Alex Tan. He's taking a stroll on Meraki Dory Beach, and bam, he finds a strange creature bald, bloated, with claws and a skull showing. Look at that. How weird. Russell Bicknell, a marine biologist, thinks it's a waterlogged kangaroo or a wallaby that got carried away by floods. Yeah, there it is. I don't know. Sandy Inglesby, a fancy title at the Australian Museum, is sure it's a possum that lost its fur. Found aliens. Look at it. Huge jellyfish. It's not just the sharks or big predators we gotta be weary of at the beach sometimes, it can even be visiting jellyfish that could leave you surprised. This is a very giant jellyfish. This happened at Vancouver Island, where beachgoers found this enormous lion's mane jellyfish on the sand. While spotting jellyfish on the beach is not that rare. But watch up on the beach out here in Grepo. This one looked like it got squashed. No one knows how it got here, as these jellyfish normally stay in the deep waters. Look at the size of that thing. Gigantic fish. This wasn't just a jackpot for the fisherman and his crew. It was like winning the seafood lottery for the whole village. A man in the Philippines named Ataman hit the ultimate jackpot by reeling in a colossal moonfish weighing over 30 kilograms. Now, this wasn't an ordinary catch. It was so massive that one of the crew members had to carry it on his shoulders. As the giant pink-colored fish made its grand entrance on shore, the villagers were shook. 
and who could blame them? This fish had big eyes and bright orange fins. According to one excited villager, this fish feast fed the entire village for a week. <laughs> whale calf saved. In July 2021, a little humpback whale baby got stranded on Gold Coast Beach in Australia's northeast. The baby weighed a whopping 15 to 20 tons. Beachgoers tried everything, like all the DIY rescue missions, but had no luck. They at last tied the whale with a motorboat and dragged it back into the water. Shout out to these volunteers too. They constantly poured buckets of water on the stranded calf to keep the little guy alive. It took them hours, but finally they succeeded. Biggest Manta Ray Subhash Salon, the Indian fisherman is just doing his daily fishing routine and suddenly he hooks onto something. Now, Subhash knows his fishing game, so he pulls it up, and what does he find? Two massive manta rays, each weighing a whopping 750 kilograms. This epic fish tale goes down in Mangalore, off the Malpi port on the Karaka coast, and it's got Subhash's name on it. Now, you'd think the rays would send back to their home, but nope. Instead of releasing these fantastic creatures into the wild, they were sent to the nearby fishery department for sale. Bummer, right? Shark Feeding Frenzy On a sunny Thursday afternoon, two men from One Harbor Church were chilling at Cape Lookout National Seashore in North Carolina. More than 100 sharks going wild, munching on a bunch of blue fish. Seagulls and pelicans even joined the feast. They decided to try their luck and started fishing without any bait, and they actually caught some fish. The sharks were doing their thing, swimming in and out of the waves. And some even ended up on the beach for a bit. But hey, don't worry about hitting the water at Cape Lookout, it's totally safe for a swim. In fact, having all these sharks and fish around just means the ocean there is super healthy. Encountering Orca These friends were watching the sea, and suddenly, an angry orca appeared and started chasing them. They tried to speed up, thinking they could outpace this sea giant, but nope! The pod was on a mission to outpace the boat. Orcas are usually triggered by the approaching boats in their territory. It looked like they did the same and provoked it. However, this time they got lucky as they made the pod leave the scene. Mysterious Lair This hotel guest was just chilling, taking a dip in the shallow waters near the beach when suddenly he spotted this crazy scene in the water. It looked like a bunch of fish doing a synchronized swim routine, or maybe it was just one massive sea creature putting on a show. As he got closer, thinking he found a fish fiesta, he realized it was more like this blanket-like creature. While its actual identity remained a mystery, he couldn't help but be intrigued by this marine mystery. Huge Hammerhead in Florida, these fishing champs near Sandell Island pulled off a jaw-dropping move. The fisherman squad, led by the fish marshal, hooked a massive 13-ton hammerhead shark. This all after the group managed to snag a 13-foot hammerhead, and of course, the whole thing's caught on camera. These guys were so pumped about the epicness of this sea giant that they sailed a whopping 200 yards off the shore to snag it. Imagine the excitement levels. It's like they found something very special. After some time, they decided to send him back home and the sea titans swam back home because, let's face it, it didn't seem too thrilled about its surprise trip to the beach. Huge fish. In March 2017, a man along the British coast stumbled upon what can only be described as a massive sea monster. This creature had an out-of-this-world body structure, and to add to the mystery, it had the remains of a whale fin stuck in its jaws. People were genuinely spooked. 
and the chatter about this mysterious sea creature led to warnings for everyone to stay away until the government could figure out what was up. It was definitely not your typical whale or shark. This thing had unique features that even the experts couldn't figure out. However, they did claim that it belonged to a whale family. It was probably a mutated one that couldn't make it to adulthood and ended up on the shore. Crab Army Here I have got the visual of these incredible soldier crabs that are given the name because of their marching ability. They just kind of show up whenever they feel like it. After some time, people figured out that these crabs have a thing for low tides. They come ashore, dig their little burrows in the sand, chill for a bit, and then disappear like magic. They used to be regulars on the beach, showing up in big numbers every year, but with all the tourists flocking in, they decided to not come here. Can't blame them. They can't have their fun when there are so many people around. Strange Fish the fisherman accidentally caught a wolf eel in his crab trap. And I bet you have not seen anything creepier than this. Look at this thing. Are you kidding me? That thing is so ugly. It was a rarely captured wolf eel. One of the primary reasons why they are considered a weirdo of the ocean is their strange appearance. Other than their gray skin texture, they have pectoral fins behind their heads, and this distinctive feature makes them a part of fish and an outsider in the eel's world. But because they are endangered species, this fisherman knew he had to drop it back into the water. There you go. Oh. Mega Mouth. A massive sea creature decided to swim over and give the diver the ultimate close-up. Now, this diver didn't freak out, nope. He stayed cool and calm because he knew he was face to face with a mega mouth shark, one of the rarest sharks in the world. Why was it called mega mouth? Well, because when it opens its mouth to filter feed, it is as wide as a queen sized bed. These sharks could grow to more than five meters long, though possibly larger specimens had been spotted. Divers claim that they have seen comparatively larger sea creatures than cameras have captured. Giant Eel In 2016, this fisherman Robert Tyndall found this giant creepy looking fish corpse near New South Wales, Australia. It was 1.5 meters long. He posted it on Facebook and the whole town was like, what on earth is that? A marine biologist, Julian Pepperell, identified it as a pike eel. These eels can usually grow up to around 0.9 meters, which is close to the captured eel's length. Fishermen in that area probably had their hearts racing whenever they crossed paths with these underwater nightmares. 19 feet fish. In Erica, Chile, it was like a movie scene on July 11th. Fishermen hooked one of the ocean's deepest living creatures, an enormous oarfish, and the whole town turned up to watch the action. <laughs> I have got some epic footage of this massive catch getting reeled in, like it's the catch of the century. It all began with the fishermen catching it and the marine life workers trying to remove it. The fish, measured around 5.7 meters, was a spectacle to watch. <laughs> Shark Appearance Talking about wild beach days, how can we forget this crazy shark? It decides to join the party, chasing down a poor turtle. The shark is actually on hunt, as they are known for cruising between deep and shallow ocean waters in search of prey. Watch how the shark's stripes are on full display. as it splashes around, making quite the scene. Surprisingly, this dramatic run and chase game ended in the turtle's favor, and it escaped. Blue Dragon This courageous guy is casually holding these blue sea dragons in his hands, but he doesn't know what they are. Yes, I've never seen anything like that. What is it? I don't know. Blue Dragon, also known as Glaucus Atlanticus, likes to hang out in warm oceans. You can find them in different places around the world, such as the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean. Even though they are small, they are pretty cool because they ride on the top of the water using ocean currents. It's gorgeous. I've never seen anything like that. What is it? 
Despite its small size, this sea slug stink can cause irritation, pain, and in some cases, more severe reactions. Rescued Whale in Argentina, a massive humpback whale stranded on a beach, triggering a human-led rescue mission that shows how much people care about animals and want to keep our planet safe. Approximately 30 individuals, aided by machinery, dedicated 28 hours to ensure the whale's safe return to the water. At the end, with the help of a boat, they got him back in water. This nice act isn't just about saving the whale, it's also about caring for nature, keeping the balance in our environment. Strange Fish Carcass Well, looks like we've got a real sea mystery on our hands. A strange fish carcass showing up on the beach. But wait for it, it's not our average fish. It's like a blast from the past. A prehistoric monster fish. Found chilling on a New Jersey beach, this underwater relic is attracting attention. Who knew ancient fish still had a flair for making a splash on our modern shores? Now that's what I call a throwback from the deep. Two sperm whales. A normal day on the beach was turned into a major discovery when the beachgoers spotted two sperm whales. They washed ashore on a German beach and shocked the onlooker. Marine life conservationists, after a brief examination, revealed that the two whales aged between 10 to 15 years. They also found a chunk of plastic whales inside the whale's stomach and believe that this could be the reason behind their sudden appearance. The whale smelled so bad that people three miles away were catching whiffs of horror. Therefore, the authorities immediately worked on getting the whales out of sight. Rare Football Fish Marine researchers founded a crazy deep-sea fish making a surprise appearance on a South California beach. It's called the Pacific Football Fish. Yes, the same dude from Finding Nemo that looks like it's seen some wild stuff. According to Scripps Institution of Oceanography, this fish is a rare occurrence at the beach. It's so rare that only 31 others are believed to be left in the ocean. They found another one in La Jolla on November 13th, but missed the memo to pick it up. These nightmare-inducing angler fish with their own built-in glow sticks are keeping their crazy vibes deep down where they belong. I wouldn't want to mess with that party. Beakfish It's not every day we come across strange sea creatures on the beach, but on April 5th at Bondi Beach in Australia, something odd caught Drew Lambert's eye. He shared a video on Facebook asking, what's this alien-like thing washed up on Bondi today? In the video, people guess it might be a horn shark because it had a shark-like body but, strangely, human-like lips. Drew, a 20-year resident of Bondi, couldn't believe it. The mystery unfolded, leaving Bondi Beach buzzing with curiosity. Human Stingray these two men were out there thinking they'd hit the crab jackpot, right? But surprise, instead of crabs, nature had a different plan. Oh, it is? Look at him. Well, it's either the secret agent of rare fish species or the undercover stingray with legs. It looked mostly like our typical stingray from the top. It also had feet. Yes, feet like a cat. Now that's a combo we don't see every day. Nah, no, I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah. Both were confused and maybe a bit creeped out by this marine mystery. They decided to let it go by releasing the legged stingray back into the water. Like I said, it was a male. Mako shark. A Florida couple was relaxing on a Pensacola beach when they spotted a shark on the coastline. It was a 3.04 meter long Mako shark that probably came to the shore in search of prey. Stranded on the beach, while the shark would have met its unfortunate fate, it got lucky that the couple decided to help. They, along with some other beachgoers, dragged it into the water, which undoubtedly was a risky task. Babe, it's too dangerous. 
dangerous. Don't be doing that. As sharks have been known to attack people in desperate situations like this, but they managed it carefully, and there it is, retreating back into the ocean. And now let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. Kevin Kona's encounter with a tiger shark in Honey Bay was nothing short of terrifying. Just imagine, enjoying a Sunday out on the water, only to have your world turned upside down by a massive predator. But Kevin's quick thinking saved him from much worse. By sticking his finger into the shark's nose, he managed to fend it off before he could inflict even greater harm. Despite his brave act, Kevin still suffered with injuries, including damage to his leg and hand. The road to recovery won't be easy for Kevin, with doctors estimating it'll take around a year for him to fully heal. Over $52,000 has been raised to help cover his medical expenses, demonstrating the power of unity and compassion in times of adversity. It's this overwhelming show of love that's truly touched Kevin, reminding him that even in the face of danger, there's still plenty of goodness in the world.